are, are friends. friends. So today we have got some, and I say some because we don't have a ton of them, some Ooh. of these Zig Clean Colour brush pens by Kurataki. And they're like water soluble, so we should be able to do some pretty fun some things. Some pretty with interesting them. stuff, yeah. So they're essentially like brush pen watercolours. And they are mine as well. You stole them, and I completely forgot <laughs> yeah. that I own them. If you've seen any of our other videos, you'll see that I'm always using these pens, and Adam doesn't get to use them very often. <laughs> so I'm excited to actually use them for once. Yeah, I'm not sure if you've ever done a finalised illustration. No, I haven't because you've stolen them. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. Okay, let's actually use them. I need so a piece of paper. Yeah, that's what I was just about to address <laughs> before you like roll over. <laughs> I've brought a little watercolour pad since we're going to be using like a light wash of water. So do you want me to just tear a page out? Do you want to use an A4 sheet? Yeah, I'll use an A4. Oh, I'm not used to working on big, really, really big oh, sheets. Oh, oh, oh. I might um, run off into the other room and use like the guillotine to cut this in half. Uh, if you want to, I'm, I'm going to use an A4 piece. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> You know, even when I was sitting my exams in school for artwork, mm -hmm. um, everyone was given like a huge piece of paper to work on and I was so overwhelmed by it because I like to work small and I like to clutter things up with lots of small little doodles and details. Yeah. But the teacher realised I was freaking out and in the end he was like, okay, everyone else can do theirs on like A3 and stuff, here's an A4 sheet for you. <laughs> like, these are A4, you're going even smaller. <laughs> Because a falls for like a really big art assignment for a doodle date. I need to go a little bit smaller. You gotta go paper. big or go home on doodle date. Oh gosh, as if you've jumped in already. Look at my sheet of paper. Yeah, and it's so tiny. You're not even using all the space on yours. We really should get hold of like a little black one of these. I was going to when I first bought them. I was going to, but they sell out really, really quick. I can imagine, because like black brush pens are really popular for inking and lining. And lining, yeah. yeah that but, was the um, reason why I wanted to pick one up. I'd totally like us to get more and maybe do another doodle date when we've got like a bigger a collection A bigger collection. Oh yeah, we should actually show them all the colours that we actually have. Sure. So here we go. We've got, this one's like a dark green kind of colour. Um, this one is the most bizarre pen. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen the story a of this scarlet one. Scarlet Red is what it's officially yeah. called. So it's officially a Scarlet Red. And we ordered it because we wanted a nice bright red colour. A colour. nice red, yeah. And it arrived, and even on camera, I'm glad it's doing this. It looks kind of orangey, but under specific lights, it looks like a really, really bright, brilliant, pinky coloured red. Like a pink red, yeah. So sometimes <laughs> we were using this to do like orange hair colours. And then we turned on the light and had like bright red pink hair. And we were just yeah. like, it just tripped us out so much. But in this light, it's actually looking fairly orange -ish. It doesn't look too, in this light, it doesn't look too bad. But yeah, it was really trippy when we, we like put a different coloured light on and it suddenly changed. It was so strange. So yeah, we got this magic orangey red colour. Then some of my favourites are these two. There's like a fluorescent yellow and a fluorescent pink. And this is like the first time in my life I've ever had like something as intense as a highlighter oh, that's the actually super strong. that's a brush pen and they're not as water soluble as the rest of the colours I've noticed but who cares when you've got colours <laughs> that great. <laughs> then we've also got a baby pink and a dark blue. I've really quickly just rushed out a sketch so that I could catch up with Adam and while I was doing that he's uh, restarted his idea again. I completely like started again. I was like, oh. <laughs> so it turns out I didn't have to rush at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you doing more of like a close-up now? Yeah, more, it's been a long time since I have, so I thought, hey, why not? I'll do more of a closer-up one. I realise we don't really have any sort of skin tone -y kind of colours, so I might yeah. go and nick um, a pro marker to colour in the skin on mine. I don't think anyone's going to mind if we have like a nice skin colour to use. But yeah, I think a skin tone's allowed. Yay! I think I might ink it first, though. I'm a little bit out of practice with the Pentel ink brush. I can't remember the last time you used it, you know. This character that you've drawn, she looks very happy. Uh, what, what is she happy about? She's happy because she's got a bouquet of flowers. Did her special someone give her those flowers? No. Did she just buy them for herself? No, her workplace give her them because she's an uh, employee of the month. Oh, what does she work as? It's like, <laughs> don't say florist. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that'd be so lame. <laughs> I wonder if florists actually do that. What, give each other flowers if they're employee of the month? Yeah, that could be a great scheme for getting your employees involved. <laughs> if any florists are listening, there you go, <laughs> yeah. I've just offered you the best idea. <laughs> employee happiness is going to go up like 100%. <laughs> oh, I do like it when you line things with the inkbrush, it looks really good. Oh no, I've smudged it already. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you jinxed me. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> 
I might just let that bit dry because I never realized it's so moist. <laughs> That's a good word. <laughs> so you know since my character is now heavily involved with flowers. Yeah. Can you include something to do with flowers in your design? I guess so. Sure, why not? Can she also be an employee at the the florist shop? You wanted to I get we can try. Sure, okay. <laughs> she can have gardening gloves. Gardening gloves. Yeah. I wasn't even going to um, have her hands in this. Okay. Well, if you can all just close your eyes for a second. Let me show you Adam's character. Okay, there's, there's not a lot to go off right now. Exactly. But just imagine her with gardening gloves. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is like a guided meditation <laughs> practice. Close your eyes and envision the gloves. <laughs> you came back with some gardening gloves the other day. Yeah, to, gar to actually garden with. Oh, I thought you got them for the guinea pigs. No. I feel like I can breathe again now that I've got all this inked. Her hand ended up going a bit um, chubbier than it was meant to, and I was like, oh, that looks like a glove, so I've drawn it to look like a glove now. <laughs> Oh, you know, I took you up on your offer, and mine's going to be wearing gardening gloves too. <laughs> what is she holding? What's the big pointy thing? Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Is it going to be a big pair of scissors? Yeah, that's what I was Really? Yeah. yeah. We'll see. I was worried for a moment it was going to be a sod. I was like, <laughs> imagine like a little uh, flower shop yeah. where they use sods to cut the flowers in a little like, bouquet. They had a customer that wasn't happy with the bouquet, so they, should, they sent her. I was like, what did you say? I heard you didn't like the flowers. What's her name? Marigold. Oh, that's a really good name. <laughs> I was gonna have her wearing marigolds. They're not, they're not gardener's gloves. Oh, aren't they? They're washing up gloves. Can you tell I don't garden very often? <laughs> I'm just washing my dishes. <laughs> wow, she's looking like a real tough florist. She is. She only sells really tough plants. <laughs> she sells those man-eating plants. Oh, you mean those ones that are like in Mario? <laughs> yeah, she sells piranha plants. <laughs> That's so cool. I would love a job like that. Oh, imagine that if piranha plants were real. I would love a job like that. I'm really hoping that when I start using these and like blending around with them, that it's not going to smudge with the Pentel ink brush. Because this might be a life lesson for future stuff. Look at the chisel tip. No, my favourite kind. Ow, 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 ow. I just got like a Chinese burn on my <laughs> Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> the walls of colouring on a bed. And this is where everyone says, well, why don't you call her a table? We don't have a table. <laughs> you just whacked, whacked my pen. I don't think I've ever used the Pro markers on watercolor paper. Wow, that's like really, that's gone on really smooth. Look yeah, how smooth like that's it. gone on. Uh oh, I think it is kind of bleeding with Is it picking it up? A little bit, so I'm being careful to not touch my lines too much. I think I prefer this paper to the Brussels one. Oh yeah, it's like, hmm. Is she going to be wearing tights or is she, uh... No, I never even considered that, you know. I would not go gardening without my tights. <laughs> Thank you for the tip. <laughs> maybe she, maybe your character has bought some flowers from my lady who sells piranha plants. Then why is she wearing gardening gloves? Because <laughs> she got bitten by one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good point. <laughs> oh no, we've taken out all the uh, blacks and greys out of this and I was going to do a hair like... Oh, that was from, that was from our marker challenge that yeah. we did. I'm gonna go grab one of them. Okay. What are you doing? I was gonna try and do the hair in the... Well, seeing as you use this marker, I was gonna go <laughs> Turn more into a but... marker drawing so far. <laughs> we'll definitely have to use these since we hyped them up so much. And we're yeah. titling the video about them. <laughs> oh, and here's an update of how my lady's looking. Yours is looking so cute. I'll save, um, obviously the details of the dress and the flowers and stuff like that to use with these pens. To use the thing we are actually supposed just, to be using. Yeah, the reason why uh, so few bits are sort of limited is just because A, it's not like a challenge video, so we're allowing ourselves to do a, to mix, do a mix. Yeah. But like we were saying, we've got such a limited colour, it would be really difficult to do an entire character in these colours. I would love to get more of these though, and then like one day challenge ourselves to draw a picture one, entirely yeah. with them. Are you trying to do a shine as well? <laughs> it looks terrible. Oh. <laughs> I don't normally put shines in my character's hair, but I thought it seemed like a fun idea. A fun thing, yeah. I mean, I never do either. Oh, I see you've uncapped that very bright yellow. Yes, I'm going to try and give her like some really bright yellow gloves. Like marigolds. <laughs> yeah, like marigolds, yeah. I'll leave the top bit white, but just look how yellow the this thing is. Oh wow, that's super super yellow. It's literally like a brush highlighter, tip. yeah. Highlighter, yeah. These are definitely like some of my new favorite pens that we on. Hmm. And they're so like skinny to hold. Like, let me show you a comparison between like a pro marker and these. Look how thin they are. I know. It's just like 
using like a regular pen. I must admit, because I've been painting quite a bit recently, I'm sort of used to holding a paintbrush, and paintbrushes are like so slim. Yeah. So holding something like this, I sort of feel like <laughs> I'm like this. <laughs> Normally I'll use my blending stumps for this kind of thing, but like for eyeshadow and stuff, mm -hmm. I a little bit of blush. Because that's one of the cool things with a, with a really soft pencil. You can pretty much just drag the, the, the lead like anywhere. <laughs> and then we could probably do it for a lip at the bottom too. Let's just wait a second while Adam finishes having a crisis. <laughs> no, no. no water bro. Have you guys got any recommendations for some good like watercolour pens? Oh yeah, that'd be actually super appreciated if you do. Yeah, I, I don't have a ton of experience with like watercolour markers, but like these little five are basically the only ones that we have. That's pink. Nope. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with this, shall we guys? So this will be for our dungarees. Oh, and there you go, see? I think I'm definitely going to need a bit, a bit more. A bit more, yeah. You're definitely going to have to put some more down there. <laughs> no, no more. <laughs> oh, he's getting braver. <laughs> there you go, my dear. Oh, it does look like a little gardening apron. Good, that's what I was going for. <laughs> I didn't want it to look like a cooking apron. You could have just wrote, like, flowers are cool on the front of it. <laughs> that's how you know I'm a serious gardener when I say flowers are cool. <laughs> What have I done to the... uh-oh. <laughs> Misshaped it. <laughs> Was it being a bit too rough with the brush? I think you've turned it into a weird fork shape. <laughs> fork brush. Although there's a couple of uh, stray ones coming out and I don't know what I can do to make them go back into shape. Does anyone have any ideas how I can fix this? That's going to bug me so much. <laughs> Adam has ruined the brush. Just trying to get some water out. <laughs> I think you were using a dry. <laughs> I'll put the pigment towards the top The top, half. yeah, it's a good Cause... idea. Oh, I'm putting the wrong lid on the wrong pen. <laughs> uh, you know what that means? What? I get to call you a dingus. <laughs> I don't know what colour to do, like a little flower package that she's holding. A bouquet. One flower package, please. <laughs> <laughs> Look how watercolory that looks, I'm just so impressed. Ooh, wow, yeah, that's, ooh, that's a really nice gradient thing you've got going on. Isn't that I think because I've been using watercolour, I've learned how to use these brushes mm. a bit better since I first used them. Oh wow, it's like magically gone back into shape. I'm going to cap it while Do it's Do you think it'll magically break when you give it to me again? You're not allowed to use it. <laughs> <laughs> You're breaking all my <laughs> I'm going to use some of these really nice pinks on these flowers. Oh, are you doing the flowers first, yeah? Wow, oh, look how pink they are. <laughs> oh, I just realised I've missed a piece of a hair that's going to bug me so much. Ooh, which which piece is it? The bit on the left or the right? Oh. You missed both of them? Yeah. And the thing that you don't realise, guys, is that when Adam films, mm. uh, say this is me, he puts the camera like this close like, to me when I'm filming. Like, are you ready for your close-up? <laughs> don't worry that close <laughs> to my face. <laughs> wow, this camera's getting hot. I don't think our camera's enjoying this summer weather. That's a really nice florist-coloured shirt. That's what I was thinking, yeah. There you go. Thank you. I'm just going to try and use this Posca pen. You've pushed this brush out of place again. It's better now. <laughs> I'm nicking your pencil to try shade in this little flower package. Wow, it smells really pencil-y, this pencil. Which one did you use? Oh, the Tembi one, yeah. It's because it's super soft. I've never, I've never known a pencil to have, like, a smell. It smells so pencil-y. Oh, I'm using this. Later on, I'm gonna have to like release that from your nose. Oh, I like that you put little green bits on her gloves. Yeah, I'm trying to make it look like she's working the garden. It does, it looks like she uses them. And is that some texture that you've put in on these? Oh, and her shears? Yeah. That's basically just the pencil. Um, just shading it in, it picks up all the load. Oh, bits. wow, I thought you'd done, you know, that dotting method that oh, some people do. Dotting, is it? Step yeah, step I was no. gonna say, you don't strike me as the type of person with the patience to do something like that. <laughs> I'm so impatient we're drawing yet. <laughs> I should be more patient, guys. I should be. You know, no, nah, I think it's part of your art style to not be. <laughs> just be impatient. I mean, it's everything to do with your line work. It's very sort of quick and just... <laughs> yeah, that's how Adam does his lines. <laughs> I see you're using the hand you're technique using your as well now. Yeah. The markers do anything with this, but I don't No, they, they don't. Do. It's alcohol. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> he still does it anyway. <laughs> Because the little white details didn't show up too good, I might just go over the outline of them. Just so they stand out uh, just a little bit more. 
Hey, get your finger off that. No, I like smudging things. <laughs> Sorry, my heart's racing because mm. I just saw a huge spider outside. But thankfully it's on the other side of the window. But for a moment then, I thought it was inside. <laughs> hey, I'm coming for you. What are you writing? She's saying snip snip. <laughs> Why would she say that? Because she's explaining to you how the little shears work. So she's like, how do they work? And she's like, snip, snip. Little. There is nothing little about these shears. <laughs> They're like bigger than her. <laughs> Anything you can fit your head in is not little. There's some life advice for you guys. <laughs> Way to say everyone's got a massive head. <laughs> if it's big enough to eat your head, it isn't little. Does that mean watermelons are dangerous? <laughs> if you could stick your head in it, I guess. <laughs> I've never tried. <laughs> oh, your lady's actually watermen watermelon coloured. Yeah, it looks like she's made part of her outfit out of watermelon. Yeah, she does. I hope you've enjoyed the video and um, subscribe if you like gardening or And piranha plants. And I did use all of the A4, look. Doodled it. Mm.